Okay, so we're gonna use our little um, sub chuck here. So we got the big four jaw and the little three jaw. Uh, and it's just on a little spud arbor, so this allows me to grip small things like this uh, this piece of this scale that we're working on. Uh, so this, just a reminder, the stud broke off there, it fell over or something, and then it broke that stud off. So what we gotta do is uh, um, drill and tap that, and then we're gonna insert a little uh, little M4 stud in there so we can put this all back together. Um, so let's, first I want to indicate the chuck uh, and get it close, kind of, okay. And, uh, so, whoa. So that's close enough for right this second, because what I want to do is, <clears throat> excuse me, I already loosened this up here, so we'll take that out. And this is going to, so this is the, how it's put together. It has a male, you know, it's turned down and threaded, and, you know, when it tips over, tink, those break off. And uh, so we're going to put this in here. Oh, somebody got lucky, the thing's right on top. So I'm going to put this in this chuck, and this chuck is, you know, it's a buck chuck, so I can actually center that up too, but what's even easier here is to use the, snug that down, is to use the big four jaw here to snug, the, or excuse me, to dial this little bit in too, right? It's just kind of easier to, to access, so let's see how this runs out. So you see that that's running out a little bit more than the uh, this chuck's kind of old, so uh, it's you know we give it we cut it a little slack. Okay, so let's go ahead and redial that. So there's the low. Okay. Okay. Snug that a little more. It's got a little bumpy in it or something. Maybe there's a... Uh, it's actually pretty darn close. Alright. Might just call it... Adequate. Alright. Let's make sure everything's tight. Okay. And... Four. Set that. What do we get? All right. Well, you know what? I'm, for what we're doing here, I think that's fine. It's about one thou. All right. So let me get the drill set up here, and um, uh, actually, I'm going to face that real quick. So I got a nice flat start for the drill. So it starts on center, and then we'll drill and tap that uh, M4. All right. So let's get up there and face that. Huh? there. So let's uh, get our massive drill stuff up here. <laughs> you know what? I got a... Oh yeah, I got a little one here. I got a small um, center drill here. I'll use. Just happen to have one handy. <laughs> Thank you. 
The one, you don't even have to lock the tailstock down for a little drill like this. going to go in a couple of diameters here. Probably fine. And let me get a little countersink and we'll deburr that and then uh, we'll tap it. Right. Give her a little, uh, little no glove there. Okay. And then uh, I just have a uh, kind of an extended point that I'm going to, uh, um, you know, that'll pilot the back of the uh, the tap wrench there, and I'm going to tap this by hand, um, just because <laughs> it's such a small, it's such a small little tap. I just want to be able to feel everything and uh, happening. It all starts nice, nice and tasty. All right, so I'm started good. I think I'm just gonna. My set screw is pretty long. Where do you go there? And I don't need much thread sticking out. Okay, so I'm, I'm started deep enough now that it's not going to go crooked on me here. Right. Let's get that out of there. Hey, I'm going to use my ear hose. All right, so then what we'll do is we'll run that in with an Allen wrench and bottom it out with a little Loctite on there, and then that'll become our little male stud, <clears throat> excuse me, for uh, to go in the other bit. Okay, so let me get that set up, and then uh, we'll move on to the next thing. Okay, so I've had to shorten this screw up a little bit a few times. So I'm just grabbing it in these copper jaws, which won't hurt it. Then uh, instead of belt sanding it, I'm just... Uh, Taking a little off with the uh, with a file. You know, to shorten it up. It's so small that there's a you know it's easy to lose in the belt sander. And here I got a little bit little bit more control. And then I'm just gonna go around it like this with this finer file here to kind of dress that end a little bit. Kind of radius it over. You 
you know, you can make a, a screw plate where these, these things thread through and then you can f file them off flush and then when you back them out of the screw plate, um, it kind of straightens that last little thread. But, uh, um, you know, if you just file them carefully, you can, uh, you can get, a, you know, get the thread start back. Okay, let's go try that. So there, there it's quite a bit shorter, you can see. Let's go try that. All right, well, here's kind of an interesting problem here. So, uh, you know, every once in a while I get questions about thread timing, right? And this is a good example. So we have a flat here, okay? And then we have a, uh, a bore, okay? And these need to line up in a particular orientation to one another, okay? Uh, and you can see that it, it's, it's not lined up here. So we can snug this up. And that's about as far as I want to gronk on that, okay? But you can see that we're still off axis a little bit. Excuse me. So um, what we need to do, let me back up there. And I'm just using that for leverage and alignment. So what I need to do, and let me take this set screw out of here, is I need to take a little, just a whisker off of that surface. But you gotta come at it really slow, because if you go too far, then you gotta go all the way around again. Or put a washer or some something silly in there. So basically I'm just kind of polishing that face a little bit. Okay. And better to um, <laughs> better to work at it slow than to get greedy, okay? Because uh, it happens real quick. All right, so let's run that back in there. Tighten that up. See, and if I leave the driver in the set screw, then I got something to get it in and out with. And uh, Okay, and that's nice and tight. And that looks pretty damn good. Don't touch it anymore. So don't invite Mr. Bozo and go at it one more time. So anyway, that's an example of thread timing and how you can, uh, you can handle that. This is a nice tight joint now. And uh, we'll put this piece back on and we'll put it together. Right. And then we'll, we'll adjust this thing. This goes through like that. And there's a little, little small shoulder screw that it catches this arm here. And you can see why those flats had to be oriented now. Okay, so that's the basic function there of the knob. We just have to find the uh, the sweet spot here. So it kind of stops on its own up at the top. And then that lifts the, uh, the fulcrum, or excuse me, supports the fulcrum. All right. So I'm gonna say, let's try that. I'm trying to find kind of a neutral spot here just to give it a give it a try. I'm just going to lightly cinch, cinch or, cinch or cringe. Alright, that feels pretty good actually. And I'll snug all this stuff down uh, properly here in a, in a minute. So this is the retaining, retaining screw here. Pardon my, uh, pardon my uh, hoof. <laughs> For whatever reason, these particular screws on this thing are very narrowly slotted. They have tiny little slots in them. Uh, I have to use kind of my finest tip blades, although I would like a little more leverage. 
than uh, width-wise, you know, than what these are providing. All right. All right, looks like it works. Okay, so one thing down, that looks good. I'm happy with that. And uh, so next up is uh, the, uh, the pointer, which has a similar problem. It snapped off. So we're gonna use a little piece of tooling that I made up here to help support this, and we'll get this in the lathe to uh, drill and tap that and add a stud to that as well. Okay, let's do that. Okay, I think you guys are gonna like this uh, kind of goofy setup here. So we gotta open this up first. It's kind of a, kind of a weird setup. Okay, so we'll grab this. What we gotta do first is we gotta support, I don't want this to just sit in the, uh, this is tubular, right? So I don't want this to um, sit in the, uh, and flap around inside the spindle. So I wanna support it here with this little, this little split disc. And the whole problem is, is I couldn't get one of these screws out to slide it in, right? Uh, so I have to split this turkey here. And then, uh, do a uh, do a little dance with this. So bear with me here. Try not to get oil on anything. Okay. All right, come on, you little weaselly, wascally wabbit. All this has to do is just kind of hold this this thing together for a little bit until, oh yeah, it just made it, okay. Until it gets in there. So that, that'll stay on there. So this goes down the bore, like so, and helps support that, okay? And I can push that back. Well, actually not too far. Then I gotta um, insert this and bring this through to the front here to kind of reduce it down. So let's, uh, Reset the chuck here. What is? I forgot. That's two. Yes, yeah, two. All right, so let's run that down to about two. There. I'm just kind of getting the jaws close for a. Uh, I don't want to have to uh, waggle that thing around too much. Okay. So let me go through here. Going like that, and now we're out here. Okay, so before we get too carried away, let's uh, kind of run this down a bit. So, because it's got you know these larger diameters on it, you can't pass it through a collet very easily, and uh, uh, and I do want to support that uh, that tail end. I'm just going to kind of leave that a little loose so it can wiggle around until I get this secured. This is a uh, multi-step process here, right? Okay. Okay, so that's feeling better. Okay, so nothing's rattling around, so let's uh, get these cinched down a little bit. running out quite a bit so I'm going to center this up a little closer then I'll come out here and uh, and I'll center it up out here at the business end where we care about so let me do that real quick all right so we're still off just a whisker at this point Right. 
I'm going to call that good. Okay. So now we're going to we'll face that off and we'll drill and tap that little sucker uh, just like we did the other one. Give her a little, give her a little touch. See what we got. flat spot and so drill and tap give it a little center Give it a little center pop. Tap that, and then we'll do our uh, do our final assembly. Okay, so we got the same problem here: is uh, is thread timing because this has to end up uh, parallel with that. So we're taking a little bit of the time off of this face very carefully to uh, try to get that uh, to line up. Right, oops, right when it tightens up. Let's see how we got it here now. And you see, you know, how much leverage we have against that little, that little tiny threaded joint there. That's pretty tight. So, let's see, can you see that? Yeah, not quite. Let me move it into the frame here. So you can see that I'm not quite lined up. This has to come another, I don't know, 40 degrees or 45 degrees or something like that so that it's parallel with that. So what I'm doing is, in fact, let's just, Take that off. Um, I'm just uh, taking a small amount off of this face right here. And what I do is I uh, sharpie eyes it so I can kind of see where I'm hitting. Um, and we'll go over, and we're, we're just using a, a fine file to, uh, to take that off. So we'll go over to the vise and I'll show you how I'm doing that and then uh, we'll come back for a uh, for a test fit when I'm uh, when I'm closer okay so we're just gonna hit that real carefully I want to make sure I'm nice and flat here take some light strokes and then I can kind of see when I'm when I'm hitting evenly Portable surface grinder, right? <laughs> okay. All right. Well, let's go give that a try, and we'll see what we got. Okay. 
Kind of a couple more cycles of this, and I'm getting really close now, uh, so I got to be real careful because if you overshoot, you're your, your bozo there. All right, so let's see. Just a little bit. You guys can see this, hopefully. Let's see. You see that? Yeah. Okay. So you can see I'm getting real close here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna tighten it up a little bit. I'm still not quite there. Okay. But what I do at this point when I'm doing this is I, I take it in and out a few times and just keep tightening it. And what it's doing is it's kind of knocking the high points down on, the, on that thread connection. Okay. And let's see how that looks. That is pretty darn close. Actually, this little blade has got a little a little twist in it that I don't like. Boy, that's pretty damn good. Okay. I think that's it. Don't touch it. Don't. So now, you know, every time you take that apart and put it back together, you know, you're you're rubbing those faces together. So any little any little high points or you know, they're it's like scraping. It actually fits better and better and better and better, right? And um so what you want is you want it tight and you want it aligned and then you stop. And uh, so let's put it all together, see how it looks. Okay. Now this has a little, a little kind of light duty weight here that we can uh, um, hopefully uh, adjust this with. Yep, there it goes. See how sensitive that is? Travel a little bit. Let's try it. Sweet, there it is. So that's the little tuner. So uh, when you got nothing in the pans, I guess you can swivel that around a little bit and uh, and get everything uh, uh, in balance there. Pretty cool. All right. Well, let's see. There I am. Uh, I still don't like that though, god dang it. I wonder... Oh, okay, it looks, it looks like these, these hooks are individually adjustable, so I could probably get it so that when it's locked, um, that's lined up. That kind of offends my machinist uh, uh, sensibilities there. Uh, so maybe I'll... I'll... See, this, this is where... <laughs> This is where you get into trouble, right? You go, oh yeah, that one last little thing, right? Dare I do it? Uh, is it worth it? Probably not. All right, I'm gonna think about that for a minute. Let's, uh, and why this thing has four pans, I don't know. Um, let's see how it behaves with uh, the pans on it. See, it's almost like these things, you know, it's got these extra hooks in here, but these things really don't... I guess they kind of fit in there, I don't know. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me, I don't quite understand it. Then it's got, the, it's got hooks underneath there too, so... Well, maybe we... Uh, does that make any sense? I don't know. Let's 
you know, it's really, man, it doesn't really make any sense to me, so let's take that off. Put that on. Get rid of some swing here. Alright, let's unleash it. About half a blade on that side, a little more than half a blade on that side. So if your if your swing is equal on either side, then you you can kind of jump ahead and say that you're in balance. But uh, it's pretty good though. Let's see. There's a little tiny. Cool. Fairly sensitive. Okay guys, I think that's it. I'm going to give it back to uh, Pepe Le Pew and uh, move on to the next thing. Thanks for watching guys. Appreciate it.